Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make vector art. So it's called vector art for a reason. Um, it's basically where you use, this is only for uh, computers by the way, Chromebooks work or anything like that on Google Draw. Um, so uh, vector art is where you turn a real image into a cartoon. So for example today I'm going to be using, let's say, I don't know, um, let's go with fruit. So if we get a fruit, we have a bunch of fruit, right? I can't do all these fruit in a certain amount of time that's reasonable for you guys. So we can just take, for example, um, well, something that's not already a cartoon. Let's just go with a pineapple, for example. Actually, no, it's too many lines. Orange. We have an orange. Not an orangutan, an orange. <laughs> um, we definitely don't want any orangutans today. Um, but we can take our orange, right? And then uh, we can just bring this down. Alright, so we have our orange, right? Now that we have our orange, what we are going to want to do is we are going to come up here. We're going to select the line. You're going to want to go to curve. Polyline also works, but I recommend curve. And you're just going to bring your line around here and make sure to click left click anytime it hits a curb just keep doing that all the way around just like so doesn't have to be perfect you can just go like this and you can bring it back up here bring it over bring it over here bring it there and it will auto connect so you have your arms right and then what you can do is you can just change this fill color right here it's orange now that you have your orange fill color, oh yeah, by the way, if I didn't say it already, pause the video if you need. Um, and then usually oranges have a little stem, so I'm just going to recreate that. So, ignore that. And then you can just make a little curb here. Wow, those notifications are really coming in, huh? Um, but anyway, so we can just add um, a nice... A nice green kind of curb here so we can choose like that even works all right guys just ignore that i'm sorry um so anyway we have that and then we can just bring this over like so and you have whatever i'm not going to include that but like you get what i'm trying to say so you have a nice little orange here okay that's annoying we're just gonna let those notifications anyway but we have a note so now we have orange and then you can just Backspace the back. There you go. You got your orange. And now what you can do is you can come up here, insert image. We're gonna have a space orange. So you can go back and you can search up space. You can get a space. So orange and space. Ready? We're gonna put an orange in space. So you can just grab your image, backdrop, whatever you want, and you can just bring this way up here. Um, if you want, you can zoom in. I didn't have to because the orange is pretty small. But you can just hit this button right here to zoom in if you need help doing it. Um, by any means. And the orange, we can just um, right click and we can hit order. And we're going to hit bring to front. And then we can bring this up here. And then we can bring this down like that. And then we put our orange here up in space. So now we have a giant space orange heading for, I don't know, Mars? Kind of looks like Mars, actually. Um, but we have a giant space orange, right? So there's our space orange, there's Earth, and we have our space orange. But anyway, guys, that's how to um, create, like, vector art. And I hope you guys liked it. hope you guys understood it, more or less. And, uh... I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.